And we're back in the uh, shelter here. As you can see, we have a new chest that's uh, setting up solar energy. Get into that a little bit more later. Uh, what I want to talk about right now is now that we've set up our base, we have storage, we have our crafting table. You see our furnace is gone. Let's move down here. It's now an electric furnace. And, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get through and, uh, first of all, your power source. Oh, I need that iron down there. Okay. So, you need refined iron. So, the first thing I'm going to show you the benefit of a macerator so I'll put one in the macerator and I'll cook one just as it is and I'll just show you guys the benefit of having this macerator over not takes a second to do it up though there's a uh, next here the macerator which uh, will definitely speed that up quite a bit but we need a reliable power source before that's gonna work for us Okay, so we're going to drop the two dust here, and the one raw ore in here. And that's going to cook up. So remember, we've macerated for this dust. Gives us two iron ingots. Whereas cooking the ore only gets you one. And if you put your iron ingots back into the furnace, it's going to cook up into the refined we're going to need for this next little demonstration on the machines. Uh, so when we're setting up our so when we're setting up our generator we need a battery which in your crafting bench you're going to want one piece of copper cable two redstone and four tin in this pattern and to make the wire you need three rubber which you can either cook sticky resin which you'll do the first couple of times before you have an extractor which I'll get into a little bit which every sticky resin you put into the extractor will turn into three rubber so you put your six rubber like this and your copper up the center and that gives us six copper wire which we're going to need and let me just look this up to be sure generator hit R okay so we need an iron furnace, refined iron and a battery so what we're gonna do so we're going to make a basic furnace and I forgot to grab some regular iron okay so now we're going to make our furnace we're going to put it here with iron in a tent pattern which is an iron furnace and three refined iron and what happened to that battery uh, oh goodness I seem to have lost the battery somewhere well we'll look up for that in a second this uh, zombie at the door is driving me nuts Alright, now he's dealt with. Let's figure out what we did with that battery. One, two, three, four. And we need redstone. Okay, so like before. our battery let's 
So, battery. Three refined iron. And an iron furnace is your generator. Now that can be powered with coal. Uh, it's very expensive to use. And if you can find a source of lava, I recommend upgrading to a geothermal generator. Or you could go solar after you have the generator and the macerator just to increase the number of materials you have by macerating your ore and getting two dust and burning into two ingots instead of one ingot per. Uh, so we'll just grab this extra cable. Okay, and next we're going to make a macerator. And press R on it. So we need three flint, two cobblestone, a machine block, and an electronic circuit. Okay. Well, the machine block is just a ring of refined iron. The electronic circuit, refined iron, two redstone, and six wire. Okay, so our machine block, our electronic circuit, our flint, and our cobble. Oh, and I did it again. There we are, a macerator. Okay, and just to show you guys the progression here. We have our regular furnace, which then becomes an iron furnace. And I just don't remember right now what the other uh, component is. So press R, an electronic circuit. Okay, so what we'll do, oh, we need, whoops, we need some copper, and I'll just make up a bunch of, of cable, can only do three, I don't know why I tried to do four. I'm not going to actually make the electric furnace, we already have two of them. But I do need this electronic circuit for solar panels as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our iron furnace, our electronic circuit, and redstone. And there's your electric furnace, which will run off of the generator power. that in there and we'll put that in there. Okay. And what you'll do now, this is a geothermal generator because we found we were running out of coal very quickly. We weren't quite ready to set up uh, solar power. So <coughs> this runs off of lava cells whereas the normal generator would have coal here. And you can see in behind here, I've run cable behind every machine. So as our geothermal generator puts out the power, all of our machinery along here takes advantage of that power. There's the extractor I was talking about, which uh, if I had a sticky resin on me right now, I'd put it here. And instead of one rubber, I would get three. Which is kind of a nice thing to have. Um, not too hard to make. 
if I am not mistaken. I'll just look this up and be sure. Yep, so you want a machine block, an electronic circuit, and four tree tabs. And that's going to be your extractor. Now... Just to show you if you don't know... Uh, I don't even have enough wood. Uh, but if you want to build a tree tap... This is the pattern. Four of those. The uh, machine block and an electronic circuit, which we made before. That's going to be your extractor. I'm just going to put this macerator down. Never hurts to have two. Especially when we automate this. Uh, so, this is the end of the our talk about the machines we have set up. I've shown you how to make them. I've shown you how to set up your power source. Um, like I say, we're using the geothermal generator, which honestly, once you have a normal generator, you can build your macerator and your extractor and an electric furnace. We have two because we have a, a lot of resources now, not a, a lot more than we did in the beginning. So, uh, yeah, once you have these four things generator electric furnace, extractor, and a macerator. You can start setting up solar panel and you can skip the geothermal generator. I would do that. Uh, we only did it, like I say, because we had to take so much time to get all this ore macerated and everything set up for the the uh, geo or for the solar panels that we found we had to run geothermal just to keep the enough power going to our machinery. We kept running out of coal. Uh, we've got a tank of oil here as you see. Uh, it's used to power engines. We'll probably refine it into fuel. Uh, here you see we have lava in this chest. Buckets to collect. Empty cells to fill for our geothermal generator. But like I say that's about to become obsolete when we go solar. Hey guys, I'm looking out over the little shelter we have built. Uh, just to give you guys a little sneak preview of a build that Trav and I have been working on. And uh, we'll be releasing a little bit at a time as we get through the build. Uh, this has taken us forever and at this point we're not even done. So uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this and uh, the build should be fun.